So where is it now? I helped Talus Group chase it away from a medical convoy, George Yavin. It's pinned in the upper atmosphere with no hyperdrive, but too many fighters for Talus Group to handle alone. This might work out for both of us. Come, meet our visitor. Wedge Antilles, Rogue Squadron. I hear you're the reason I was able to finally get a calm through. I have a Star Destroyer problem that Vanguard might be able to help me solve. We need a Star Destroyer for Project Starhawk, intact. Now we prove what Vanguard's made of. Wedge, if you would. As you may have overheard, Talos Group has cornered the Imperial Star Destroyer Victorum, above the planet Yavin. They're in tough, but it's presented a great opportunity for us to jump in and not only disable that Star Destroyer, but to seize control. So first, we need to give ourselves some cover by knocking out the turrets. Naturally, if we can also take out the targeting system, that'll buy us even more time. Next, we need to prepare the Star Destroyer for boarding. You'll need to find a potential breach point in the Victorum's hull, preferably near the bridge. Once you find a good spot, bombard it until the hull is breached. However, we can expect that the Victorum still has plenty of TIE fighters. They will try to stop us. Once the skies are clear, we can bring in the boarding team. While our troops capture the bridge, Vanguard will defend the exterior from reinforcements. Once the boarding team has seized the bridge, and is in control of the Star Destroyer. We will rendezvous with the Temperance. Okay, I think I accidentally made stealing a Star Destroyer sound simple. Let's hope it is. Sorry for the speedy introduction, but Talus Group was counting on me to get reinforcements fast. Your commander says you have talent. Enough to steal a Star Destroyer and get away with it. Normally, I'd have Rogue Squadron for this. But General Sindula gave me a temporary assignment to Project Starhawk. Meanwhile, Rogue is handling... Well, that's classified, too. General Sindula keeps us busy. Your commander and I have something in common. I once flew for the Empire, too. At Skystrike Academy. Turning to the Rebellion was the smartest move I ever made. I wish more of my friends had done the same. Look, I appreciate the talk, but... Uh, Talus Group's waiting for us. A Star Destroyer? Aren't you tossing him in the deep end a little early, Linden? Vanguard can handle it. Can't you? Besides, Project Starhawk needs that Star Destroyer for... Well, you know. Wedge made a name for himself at the Battle of Yavin. He knows that system better than the Empire ever will. You'll be fighting on the Rebellion's old turf. So if Wedge has any advice, you'd be smart to listen. You know, a wounded Krakana can still bite. Just watch yourself around that Star Destroyer, huh? Get out there as soon as you can. So, we're headed to Yavin. An exalted company, it seems. And now we know Project Starhawk needs an Imperial Star Destroyer. That's enough firepower to tackle a small fleet, or a means to catch the Empire off guard. But that wouldn't warrant all this secrecy. There must be more to the Commander's plan. We'll just have to trust him. Too bad there isn't an easier way to get what we need. Even a damaged Star Destroyer has deck upon deck of Durasteel plating, turrets, shields. My poor, bigoted father called Star Destroyers the fists of the Empire. He wasn't wrong, but they can be beaten. If you're good and lucky, let's stay optimistic. To Yavin, then. Let's not delay.
The commander wants you on an X-Wing for this mission. Got you outfitted with ion missiles. They disable enemy fighters and they'll disable subsystems on enemy capital ships too. Stealing. 
our sights. Ready to take on a Star Destroyer? Copy, Captain Antilles. Just get us there and we'll do the rest. You heard him back on. Guide those U-Wings into position. Stay sharp. What about the Star Destroyer's crew? If our boarding party takes the bridge, they'll slice internal security systems. The crew won't be a problem with no computer access, and all the blast doors locked. <laughs> Imperial carrier, they're launching reinforcements. They're not giving up the Victoria without a fight. Vanguard, take down that cruiser. Regroup at the Victorum. The boarding team might need support. We're almost through those blast doors. We've got another Imperial carrier. Make that three carriers. That's a lot. Get ready, everyone. We're in. Taking control now. Ha ha ha! 
That Star Destroyer's taken down its own carrier. What a sight! Yes! The ship is ours! You actually did it! And Project Starhawk has a Star Destroyer. You can take it from here, Vanguard. I'll escort Talos crew to safe harbor. Great work. General Sedula will be impressed. Wedge, out. was a fun mission. Even better than beating my time on the Death March circuit. We got to steal a Star Destroyer and help our friends doing it. And see Yavin! We still have allies on the fourth moon, but I've never been there. There was an energy at Yavin like I've never felt anywhere else. It was chaotic and serene all at once. The Empire corrupts the energy of every planet it touches. But I can always feel the good buried beneath that. And that's what we fight for, the good. Anyway, I saw Frisk bothering Commander Javes earlier. Knowing Frisk, the Commander might appreciate some backup. Now the Empire's gonna want that Star Destroyer back. Good. Let's see him try and take it. You know, back home, after the Empire invaded Mimbin, we stole an armored transport hauler full of scout walkers. When the Empire came looking for them, we just turned the walkers against them. Had a real good time. I'm guessing the commander has something similar in mind for this Star Destroyer, right? Otherwise, what's the point? At least Wedge picked the right team for the job, huh? Those slackers in Alphabet Squadron would still be faffing around at Yavin. <laughs> Enough yapping. Time to check with the commander and see what's next.